Okay, hi guys. So, uh, let me tell you what I have I prepared first. So, one month before I started to plan for my surgery, um, I actually did a lot of research first before I decided on this doctor because my girlfriend has been doing it with him since I think 2014. Yeah. So, and I see her getting more and more beautiful and then I start to ask her what are the things that I need to prepare before I go to Korea. Alright, so she said, first thing first, no alcohol for one month. No vitamin B complex for one month. I'm like, oh, mama, all these things are the things that I eat. Okay, and then um, take a lot of vitamin C, zinc, tablets. And um, she also asked me to buy this Danzen. Okay, peel. Let me show you. So that day, I forgot to buy my vitamins and uh, bring my vitamin C to Korea. So I bought this from Korea. This is the vitamin C from Korea. Okay, um, I got it from their pharmacy. Okay, they have a lot of pharmacy in every lane anyway. It's like Seven Eleven, and I bought this zinc peel. Okay, so I took it, uh, one month. Okay, anyway, I take vitamin C every day anyway. So, I took uh, every day, one, one, okay. And then, I bought Danzen tablets. This one, I think I got it from Herbal, iHerbs, I think, iHerbs.com, okay. And so, I, I, but I take this only after surgery, okay. And so, within one month, right, I didn't drink alcohol. I take a lot of vegetables, fruits, I drink a lot of water, before I start my start to plan for my for my trip, and also I didn't take B complex because vitamin B they said that um will cause a lot of bleeding issues during surgery or after surgery I can't remember what she said um yeah so anyway so after that right I went for a consultation I decided to choose a morning surgery so that I could starve myself eight hours before nine thirty a.m. And then decided on the consultation after I decided straight away. Yeah, because I wanted to do this so much. Um, and you guys know that I'm very vain and I love to do eye makeup and stuff. And yeah, so, and it's my birthday present to myself. Um, and I always wanted to go Korea again because I went to Korea once and I love it. And this time around, I went on my own. Yeah, because the other time we went was with my company. Uh, we have a gathering company uh, kind of activities. Yeah, it was fun. Uh, back then, I, I um able to stay with this um, director. She was uh, staying across the Han Rivers. And we all know that those who stay near the Han Rivers, right, are the rich ones. So I get to stay in that condo. She has six rooms in that condo, I still remember. Yeah, it was a gorgeous view. Um, but anyway, okay, so back to this. So basically, I prepare myself one month. Um, I exercise every day as per normal, right? So, and after surgery, right, I actually do not have much uh, problem when it comes to healing. It heals very fast. Um, I take my vitamin C and my zinc every day. And I take this every day as well. And then doctors will also give you the plaster. Um, but I order more the plaster and the scarring cream because I'm going to apply my scarring cream after uh, next week. Next week. I mean, this one, right, you have to plaster for about two weeks um after like the okay so after the surgery you will meet him five days later he will remove the stitches for you right then he will tell you to he will stick the plaster for you um then you can ask for a skin colored ones uh, to me i can't be bothered <laughs> anyway so he uh, plastered for me and then he tell me not to touch water this area for two weeks yeah so i that's why korea is quite cold back then i mean when I was there so I enjoy the breeze I don't bleed as much I don't sweat as much so it doesn't affect my healing so if you're going to go there right, best to go there during cold days cold weather and then best to um, book him in the morning if you can um, yeah so that's why I book him for the morning and then after that right after surgery I can eat already because I'm so hungry and so thirsty <laughs> after the surgery yeah so um, yeah so this is the part uh, it's very easy and then you get to you can kakao talk with him uh, if you have any questions if you're back in Singapore but I would advise you to stay there for about at least 10 days if it's cold so that you can enjoy the weather you can heal better uh, then here I have to plaster I have to do my own plaster for about every 2 days because don't sweat too much uh, during the 2 weeks when you're having this one don't do housework because you're going to sweat a lot like a pig here in Singapore right 
so don't sweat don't don't do too much housework just vacuum if you want to or don't do housework at all <laughs> okay and uh, yeah but when i'm back home oh my god i don't know what happened my room is invaded by ants um so i do a bit of uh, cleaning okay then i decided to uh not do anymore i just plaster re-plaster myself uh, so generally you can touch a bit of water after that use a hair dryer just to dry it up a bit yeah so yeah so and so this is the contact of dr chung's contact i give you it uh the cacao top uh, qr code and his um uh whatsapp qr code yeah so you can either see i'll put it here or i'll put it in the next slide that's coming after this so yeah so um, if you have any questions, feel free to ask me. Uh, you can actually ask him directly about how much it costs because uh, every skin uh, different kind of cost, you know what I mean? Because my skin is more saggier than yours maybe, you know, so it's much more expensive, you know what I mean? So you have to ask him. Yeah, he does face threading. He does fat grafting. He does... Uh, he's very good with eyes. Um, he, can't, he can do the nostril smaller, nose bridge no. No speech, no, no speech. He'll ask you to, he recommend you to somebody else. Um, yeah, so, yeah, so if you have any questions, feel free to ask me. He's very good with eyes. Yeah, the eyes are very good. And nostril holes here, yeah. And face threading is very good. Um, he's, but when it comes to no speech, right, he will recommend you to somebody else. All right, so, yeah, so this is uh, Dr. Chung's contact information. His clinic is very near to Apujong uh, Station metro yeah um and actually to me the cab in korea is so cheap it's like half an hour for 10 10 or 12 dollars so i don't really bother much i just take a cab here and there <laughs> yeah so it's easy for me because the metro is so confusing for me yeah but if you stay near to sinsa or gangnam would be good during your surgery surgery yeah so it's easier to walk back to your to your to your hotel you know what i mean yeah so yeah okay good so i shall not delay any further so check it out his contact information here okay all right so thank you all so much for watching i look forward to seeing you all soon in my next video bye